Hi everyone, it's Gail and we are here with part four of this um, garden book and I need to catch you up on the couple things I did off camera um, and then we are going to decorate and we will be we will be finished with this one I think. So let me first say hi and hugs to Carla, Carolyn, Candy, and Crystal. Thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments. And here we go. Let's see. So I have my little box with decorating things like journal, like journal cards and pockets and that sort of thing. But first let's kind of go through. As you can see, it is now very, I mean, you can press it down a little, but it's very close to parallel with the table. <laughs> It's just what happens. So I don't know. I might have to take some pages out at the end. I don't know. But um, so what I did is I put in the writing paper. So I used some I used some colors um, throughout. I used some eco dyed because how perfect is this for an eco dyed um, paper and then I use these two little papers I think I might it's been a while since I filmed the last one so I might have shown you those already I don't remember but I got them all in and so yeah so I just did papers that I thought went nicely in the spot and then each section has these two and then here and there, there are eco dyed prints. This one came from Rosemary Morris at the Rusty Peacock on Etsy. I love her eco dyed paper. She's amazing. Look at that. She is amazing. I mean, I a couple of mine are in here too, but I I don't I don't hold a candle to Miss Rosemary. Not at all. So um, so yeah, that's all I did was. I did a bunch of punching <laughs> and and got some writing pages in in the journals. So so yeah, that's that's basically all that I did. I, I I'm gonna thumb through just so you can see mostly these eco dyed. These are ro this is rosemary's too, and this is a um, a big envelope, and so it's a big old pocket that something wonderful could go in there. Isn't that so pretty? So I thought if I get, if it's too full, I could take out some of the um, writing papers and uh, and then whoever ha gets the journal, they can put them in if, where they want, if they want, I'd send them along. These, um, this particular paper is very um, lumpy bumpy from coffee dyeing. And so I think it really added to kind of the bulk of the book, but I love it. And I just kind of want there to be places for note taking and stuff like that. So, so yeah, this is, this is kind of what it looks like. I gotta keep going though, so I can show you. Let's just find the eco dyed. Look at that pretty color, isn't that pretty? Uh, let's find the other eco dyed papers to show you. Um, there's one that's mine. Um, and I do have a digital of those if you are not up for the process, which is a decent process. I do have a video on the process, but yeah, I can only do it in the summer, so <laughs> there's that. Isn't that pretty? That's a rosemary. Love that, and I loved it with the blue behind. Okay, where is that super pretty one? There's that one. I had, uh, oh, and I put extra pages at the back, too. So I could always take those out and just send them along with the journal, right? So I there is a super pretty uh, eco-dyed one that I wanted to show you and I cannot find it, but maybe we'll just find it as we're going along or something. And then there's another one of mine. Oh, that's the one I showed you. 
I thought there was a couple of mine in here, but maybe not. Anyway, well, I guess we'll just tarry on. And if I really wanted to show you that, though. It's so, oh, here it is. Maybe. Yes. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I, I know. You're thinking, how can you let that go? And I was thinking the same thing. But I'm emotionally invested in this journal. <laughs> Okay, so so what to do, what to do. Um, I still don't know about this this page here. I kind of like leaving it the way it is just because um, you know, these are these are old books. I want to respect the integrity of the old book as well as making it into something somebody can use. You know what I mean? Okay, so we have a pocket there. I don't even know what all is in here anymore. Oh, yeah. We've got these great envelopes to add. So, I was thinking about putting one on one of these. But again, I kind of... It's hard. It's so hard to what to cover up and what not to, you know, like, like that is really kind of cute. I mean, all of those are cute. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm just going to go along and see if I have anything in my basket for what we come across. So here is a pocket, right? So I had, and these will be fairly thin. I had these cute pages from a flower book that could be cute in there i do have the um the journal cards you know from the from the paper pack so there's those i have this pretty this pretty journal card really want to cover it up though I think it'd be better in one of the other pockets let's see what else do I have oh, I have this I was thinking would be fun maybe on one of the pages I think what I would do is just clip that in though okay and then pockets pockets I have lots of pockets over here um 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 what's this Pretty journal card. Does that go with that, though? I don't know. Oh, yeah. And then I have this whole thing of these um, really pretty flower postcards. I wonder what, how one of those would look. So I just suggest um, going through your stuff and seeing what you have for flowery sort of things. That's kind of cute. Okay, let's see if I like, I mean, I could put this in there too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and then continuing on, we're just gonna see what we've got. Um. Oh, yes, we've got this, which could be written on too, which could have coffee dyed paper on it, or it could have a pocket, or it could have, oh, yeah, don't you think? Oh, yeah, that is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to put that on. We'll put it on like a pocket, you know, so that you can put something in the back too if you wanted. Uh oh, a lot of, a lot of glue goobers on the old our glitter glue. So I hope you all had a great weekend. I, I don't even know what day this one's gonna beyond I think it's like Thursday or something and I am just starting to do videos um for the week so for me there we go make 
sure it's straight. Um, yeah, so for me, it's Monday. And my next video will be my Marguerite Miller. Usually I get that done earlier in the week, but this has been a weird week because I've been trying to um, video even more ahead because I have my... I have my day where I go get my vaccine, so I need to, I needed to have that. Okay, that is just fine. That is just fine. I do like that. Just want to make sure it's down. Somebody gifted me these, but they are gorgeous. I don't know how they did them or anything, but they are really pretty. Oh, there's this one that could have something. How about, look at this fun envelope. What if we have that kind of stick out like that? Yep. I think that will be good. Oh, and then we have a lot of pockets there. Um, could have that in there. Have that in the back like that and then what do we have in the journal cards oh isn't that a pretty one okay and then what if we put one of these little definitions like that kind of I mean, I could put something there too, but honestly, I don't want to cover up this paper. So that's that's just fine for there. Okay, what do we have here? All writing kind of stuff. Oh, this big old thing. We're going to need a big old something for that, aren't we? I've got over here, I've got these that have, you know, oh yeah, let's put that in there. I think I might want a tab on that now as I look at it, just because, you, so you know there's something to pull out. Um. A little pouch here that has my tabs in it. Ooh, that's pretty with it. Okay. Oh, it's always so fun to to do the decorating, isn't it? I'm saying we'll get done this time, but I don't know for sure. I mean, I don't know. I might have to, if I have to make things for, to go in here then, then maybe not. Come on, get on there. There we go. Nice and straight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was good. Cause I, then, you know, then it's obvious that there's, something in that pocket like so okay okay and this just flips out so that's kind of interactive on all on its own this one i was thinking a pocket or something on it i mean that's real pretty with that isn't it but let's see what else we have just to see if there's another pocket. There's this one. Oh, that's lovely too. I'd almost like this to be further back in the book since we just did one. I think I'm going to do that and have it be a side pocket there. Okay. These are so pretty. I bought these on Etsy. I can't remember the seller at the moment, but um, I almost hate to cover up the back. They're so pretty. 
pretty. Okay, so nice to have lines to be able to line up on. Make sure one is straight. Okay. All right, so. So, oh my gosh, it's snowing. I was gonna say, so we're supposed to have snow today. Today, when I'm filming this, it's the 8th of March. And sure enough, it's snowing. <sighs> yeah, I would rather get snow in December, January, and February. <laughs> Nobody asks me, but that's what I would like. Okay, so we need something to put in there. I saw, did I see that? I saw, thought I saw something with a little edging. I'm obviously, oh, there it is, but it's too big. Okay. That's okay. Oh, here's my other, here's my other eco dye, but I just decided the book was too full. So get too full. And you know, it's not like I'll never make another one of these. So do I have, let me look. If I have, I think I do. Triple V Vintage to the rescue. Thank you, Veronica. I mean, won't quite fit. I could cut just a bit off, maybe. So let's do that. I'll just cut a little bit off. I'm going to go down here. over a little bit but I like it okay yeah now in here we need some paper so maybe that's where it's too big again I think I'm just gonna do like a piece of coffee dyed paper of some sort Let's see here, I'm looking above my head here. So here's a nice one. And we could just cut that off and fold that up and put that in there. More writing space, it's a good thing. Okay, um, right about there. Right, and then I'll just fold it in half and put it in that little envelope. There we go. Now, this could have something in it. A tag or something I don't know that I'm gonna put anything in it um, I just have to see how I am thickness wise I think I'm gonna be pretty thick oh isn't that cute see that needs to just show because it's so pretty okay um, I would like something across here I uh, don't know I have anything. This is such a cute cluster. This is from my pal Corey. So I thought I could maybe use this somewhere in here, but um, not there because it needs to go the other way. Um, let's see. Let's look at look at clusters and see if we have anything that is 
of the colors. That's not too bad. Let's see what else. I have, I have too much going on here, guys. Um, wonder about nope, too small. Kind of like that one. You can tell when it's a nope. Sometimes it's just a nope. But, ooh, that's got a little purple in it. Purple up here. Kind of like that one, too. We'll get serious about choosing one here in about a few minutes. really light colored one kind of like that too too many cute ones too many cute ones what are we gonna okay so we've got five choices here so we'll do that that I think I like this one better, so this one's going back in the bin. <laughs> I can't decide. <laughs> you know what? I should leave these out because they go well with the paper, and I have other pockets, so I think I like that one better. Definitely like this one better. I'm going to go with this one. Okay. So I think I'm just going to pop that on there. I do think I might ink it. As you know, I'm not doing a lot of inking in here, but every now and again, this will just stand out more if it's inked on this edge. So, I do reserve the right to break my own rules. <laughs> I do it often. <laughs> because there are no rules, right guys? Okay. My, my sponge is getting crummy again. I, I ch changed it twice in the last few days because I've been using it so much. But, um... I don't like the strings, so I might leave those. Oh, I think that's pretty. And I don't think I want anything on it, like a flower or butterfly or anything. I think it's pretty just as it is. So we'll just leave it. Okay. I love that page. Oh my gosh, 24 minutes already? Are you kidding me? Okay, quarter tail is the one we go to. Okay, I got a feeling there's going to be another video in the series. Uh, I'm not winging along like I thought I would. Okay, there's this big old thing that's pretty. Um, what might be fun on that is a pocket. I'm just kind of looking at what what we've got oh that's kind of pretty there isn't it this one is a 
a window. And I think I like this in here. Okay, so I like that. Then there's this one. Ooh, I like that better. Okay. Look at these. These are just journal cards. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is put this on. I think I might go again as a side pocket because this is thinner up here. This is doubled or tripled or whatever and sewn and it's much thicker and tougher okay so I'm gonna put this on and then yeah I just don't know I think this is gonna be one fat journal I think I'm gonna to have to take out some pages when I got all those pages in I was like well <laughs> it's looking a, a bit thick okay um and then I think I'd like to maybe I'd like I was thinking of putting paper on this and this I mean, it could be written on, but more so on this side. So do I just put that in like that? I think that's what I'm going to do. I just said I was going to have to take pages out. <laughs> oh, it's a process. We don't know. We don't know what we're doing. Oh, goodness. Okay. So that's very nice. Um... Something to fit into there. Oh, how about one of the one of these cards could go in there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but I want that to dry a little more. And then we have all kinds of pockets. Pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. Oh boy. Lots of pockets. So, but I'm thinking stuff that's flat's gonna be best. Um, let's look, let's look at our papers. So this is another one that we could cut up. And then, where's the other one? And then this is the second, oh, and I forgot about the stickers. Oh, I'm glad I grabbed these. These are chipboard. Those are going to be too thick. So I'm going to say no thank you to the chipboard, I think. Although I really like that for on a pocket. We'll see. Look at that. Okay. Yes, reverting back to our pot, back to our... Those aren't going to fit. So, what if I go here, go here, and you could write on the backs of those. So that's good. Go here. You put in that, that another one of those little ones. Okay, I think that's how we'll have that. Oh, cute. Okay. Okay, this needs something big in it. I've got, this is a, like a 
time card tag sort of thing. Um, I'd like to put something in there. I'm looking at the at the chipboard. I think it's going to be too thick, though. Um, 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 um. What do we want to stick in there? Oh, how about this? That's cute. And then that can just go in there. Okay. Moving right along. Look how fat that is. Oy vey. Okay, here's another one of these. And I was thinking, I was kind of thinking about that Secret Garden one, but it says Secret Garden on there. Is there another one of those kind of pockets back further? Yes. This would be pretty with that. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in here for a second. And we're going to put... Oh, okay. Well, it's a frame and a... Super pretty though. I just want it like it was. There we go. Okay. those babies in there. Okay, that pocket's done. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do on this one? Ooh, look at this. This could be cool. And I like these because they're flat. Yeah, it's a little iffy, but that's pretty. Okay, that's good. So then what do we want to put in there? And get back here to journal cards and stuff. This would be pretty there. And then what I maybe need is something flat again. Okay, I like that. Let's see, there is a one there. This one we don't need to do anything. It's the little flip thing. Did we? No. Thought we made that into a pocket for a second. Okay, and this one's done. Now we could put something on the back there, but again. Thickness wise, it's a worry. Okay, what do we want in our belly band? Do we have anything made already? This pocket. This is pretty. Just put those in there because they're good and flat. Now, um, I will say these journals like this that I have used, I do have, and like this is one piece that came out of a journal that I bought from somebody that's like this because, you know, you want to do your own thing and it just, they just get so fat so quick. Okay. So there's another pocket. Um, there's this memories one. Maybe that would be cute on there. Yes, that would be cute and flat. Okay. I wanted to put this sack in. 
and I think that's a good spot for that. But we need something to kind of pop it out from the background a little bit. Okay, put that there. Seriously, I could go all day on these. I seriously could. Okay, again, we don't we don't really have any stickers that go with that. Let me put the stickers down there. And let's see about our... Well, it's pretty. And that's pretty. <laughs> Here we go again. No, too, too wide. Um... I don't think I like that as well as one of these. I think I like that one best. Okay. So we'll get this on here. Again, it's got threads. Those can obviously be cut off if you don't like them. Oh, that one was not attached. Probably from one of its friends in the tray. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did that. Now, what to put in that? We've got all these. Well, that's a pocket. But we've got all these tags. That's a pretty one. That one's thicker. And they're thin. I like that. Okay. Something in this little pocket. Card wise, what do we have? That's nice. And then, do we have one of these? How about? Oh, and I still have this too. Let's see, scissors, cutter, that's what I need. <laughs> Some sort of cutting implement <laughs> is needed. Stat. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh. Gail. Let's get that straight. Get that off of there. Which one? Would I like? I kind of like the Scott's Roses one, but then that will blend into that. How about this? Everything for the grower. Look at how pretty. I gotta go with that. Didn't even see that. Okay. And this, to me, needs no decoration. It's just too beautiful. Anything I put on it would 
take away from it, I feel like. Okay. Oh my gosh, we did all those pockets, didn't we? So that's good. So is there some place for this guy? I mean, that's so cute with that little vine around. I just can't. Maybe the, was there a tools? Instruction, maintenance a tool. But I feel like that's cute too. I think I'm going to choose to just leave those. Whoever gets this book, if they want to decorate those, they can. Um, but I would love to do this guy. Ooh, that's kind of pretty as a background, isn't it? Let's do this one as a side pocket too. Okay. I'm almost scared to see how fat this book's going to be when, <laughs> when we close it up. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, I think I'll be taking out some pages. But I kind of wanted it to get maybe to the more or less finished stage here so that, um, so that I can, I mean, I can just get this one to its new home because everybody's in gardening mode. So I got, I had on my video that ran today, which was the first section of the, or the first part of this series, um, somebody said, are you going to include your gardening tips? <laughs> it's, <laughs> I'm not a great gardener. I mean, I love to do it and I can do it and I can weed and all of that, <laughs> but I'm not, I mean, you know how I treat my paintbrushes, you know? So anyway, <laughs> anyway, she said, any gardening tips? I said, keep it wet so it doesn't die. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I've got. Okay. Um, these will be cute in there. Oh, look, her little face is right there. I like that. And would one fit? Would it fit? I think it would. So what would we like peeking out there? Perhaps this one. Yeah, um, I I start off the year really gung ho about gardening, and then towards the end I'm like I don't care <laughs> if there's weeds. Oh, I am so bad. So basically, my husband. Um, waters the back and I water the front. That's kind of our routine. There we go. I like that. That will do. Okay. I mean, I have a whole bunch more pockets, but obviously I can use those in another journal. Should we see how fat it is? Should we, should we take a chance? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. It's a little alligator mouthy. Not too bad, actually. Better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, well, have we missed anything? Oh, you know what I wanted to do is I wanted to use some of the stickers on the pages. That won't add a whole ton, do you think? Cause like, wouldn't this be cute? Just right here. Just jazz that up a little bit. And then with the yellow. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's do that for our remaining time. Just do a little here and there. I'm gonna do like maybe every other page or something. I think this would be pretty up there. 
I gotta stand up so I get it straight. Yeah, just, oh yeah, we've got time. I was not thinking we had that much time. Oh my gosh, it's still snowing. I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about gardening for a while. <laughs> Um, let's see. Well, I think this would be cute, like just down here. I mean, I might as well use them, right? That's how I always feel about stickers and things. Now there might, it might be fun to have something right there. How about this? Let's put that right there. Yeah, I like that. Just a little something, nothing too, nothing too crazy. It's kind of looking, where do I have? For a second. I didn't think I used those. Where are they? Oh, maybe I did. Oh, I did. Now I remember. Sorry, talking to myself. But I was kind of thinking this rose might be pretty in that pocket. So, I'm bouncing all over the place. But, finishing touches, right? Finishing touches. So I am going to say in the next few days or whatever, I will get this in my Etsy for whomever would like to, would like to write more than water them so they don't die. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm excited though. My husband has ordered some, um, eh, they're kind of like victory gardens, but they're up on legs. Do you know what I'm talking about? They're um, standing planters, basically, I guess you would say. And um, yeah, he's ordered those for, we had a, a tree taken out, oopsie, a tree taken out in our yard and uh, and there's um, rock around it. And so my husband said, I, I think I'd like to put some of those victory garden type things there, but these ones are on legs. So he doesn't have to, um, you know, squat down, bend over, whatever. And I think he's gonna plant strawberries. So I'm super excited about that. All that for this little guy, but I think he'll be cute in there. Yeah, I like that. It looks more finished. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, so I don't know how many he's going to order, but I'm excited about that. Oh, and I didn't tell you about, we had an impulse buy the other day. <laughs> um, gosh, that is really blank. What if we put a pocket? Oh, look how cute that looks. That needs to go there. I'm just going to completely glue it because it does have a pocket up here. I'm just going to completely glue it down, even though it's pretty on the back. Um, anyway, we were looking, talking about the yard and, you know, getting kind of excited for spring and stuff. Well, we used to have out out on our corner, we have a big area of rock and it's got bushes and stuff and um, and a flowering tree and everything. It's, it's real pretty. Well, we had, I had found at, um, I think I'll put that smack in the middle. Um, I had found at an estate sale, you know, motel chairs, those, those metal chairs that they used to have outside the doors of motels, you know, I think they're like a fifties thing. Anyway, I had found a glider. So it was two of them put together and it was glider and it was super cute sitting in that rock area 
Well, um, gosh, we came home from getting our granddaughters. We were going to babysit them for some reason. And um, we came home, you know, fine, fine, fine. That morning we woke up and somebody had stolen that. Can you believe that? Just took it. Okay, I like that. That doesn't look as blank now. Um, yeah, so anyway, we were looking through and sure enough, we find a, I shouldn't be adding more, should I? I might add that as a tuck though. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm supposed to be putting on stickers. I lost my way while I was talking. Um, we found one, it's a, it's a replica. It's not a real one. The one that I had was real, it was like a 1950s or whatever. Got it at an, got it at, did, oh, I found that at the antique store in Bozeman, not at an estate sale. Uh, a lot of my other motel chairs, I love them. And so I have several around the yard and, um, Others I found at estate sales, but that one was at the Bozeman Antique Store. Um, where did I leave off with stickers? <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, so I thought, I don't know where I left off with stickers. There's sunshine, okay. Um, oh yeah, there's one. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, it was, it was, I think it was Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. You know what? On that one, I think I might just put this little girl sticker. Or do I want one of those birds? I think I'll do a bird. Or I could do that. That'd be cool. Let's do that. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, that was, that was very sad. I was really upset. Called the, called the police and everything. And they said people had been losing you know, yard ornament type things. And so, anyway, so I don't know how long this will last. Ooh, let's, yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, that's where that's going to be. Okay. That's where that's going. <laughs> Stuck down before I was ready. Ooh, I'm glad it was straight. Okay. Um, but, yeah. So, anyway. That one's already kind of got a sticker, but let's do, let's do a little birdie sticker in the corner of this. Maybe I'll put it up here like a stamp. I should check and see how we're doing. Oh, we're okay. Okay. I've got a few. Um, yeah, so that was an impulse buy, but you know, just kind of getting excited for um, oh, that's pretty, and it's purple. Let's just put it right here. Maybe here. Mm, this one. cute. Okay. Put him 
on there. He gets covered up a little bit, but that's okay. So just a couple others that I would that like to go ahead and use. So that one there. little one goes with the paper across from it. Put that there. Okay. Um, one there. Probably didn't do one here. No. This could be a tab, but I don't want to use it that way, so I'm just going to go like this. That one. Okay, I have one more that I would like to use. Oh, let me go just fine here. Okay, I think we've done it. I think Evan knows it's, it's quite thick. So I don't know if I should keep it this way or if I should take out some of the writing pages and just send them along with. Hmm. I think I might leave it as it is. They can always take out pages if they want to. So I love it. Let's let's do a super quick little flip through again. So original first page. Little stickers here and there. This page has this lovely, lovely bag. We didn't put anything in that bag. Did we? This is pretty flat. Put that in there. Perfect. Okay. I'm not supposed to be putting anything else in. Oh, goodness. That little pocket. Oh, I love how this turned out, guys. This is so fun. So, thank you for encouraging me to do one of these binder journals again. I had a lot of fun. I hope you... Have fun, had fun crafting along. I know a lot of you were going to do your own along with me. I love that page. This is fun too. Yes. That flips out. We've got this page. It's just a fun, fun book, I think. Yay. Yay. And I'll tell you what, these papers are gorgeous. That that helps a lot, too. I love this. Oh, my gosh. Goodbye. <laughs> Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Well, that's, that's how it goes. I do love it. I do love making these. So we'll do some of the other uh, subject matters too uh, over the next while, okay? Because I know a lot of you wanted the sewing, the cooking, and the handyman. So we'll do that. We'll do a couple of other things and then we'll do that. Okay, guys, that's it. That's the Garden Binder Journal. I hope that it will be enjoyed and used well in its new home. There we have it. That's a wrap on this series. So thanks for, thanks for watching. Have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye everybody.